Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are back for the second episode of Cube, episode 1. The first episode was episode 0, in case you missed it, so... Yeah, you might want to go back and check it, because I start counting at 0. But anyway, this is Lost in Transmission, apparently. The game seems to autosave very nicely. Uh, the first episode was 44 gigs! 44 gigs, so, uh, yeah, we're... <laughs> I'm gonna have to work something out, because I don't have that much space on this solid-state drive, but let's see here, what do we... What do we have going on here? Hmm... Let's put a green guy on that one. And then put blue on that. Sure, why not? Uh... Not exactly what I was hoping for. How does that help us? In any particular way? I don't see that that is particularly helpful. Hmm. Well, maybe we want to put blue on this. Oh, it can't pass through there. Interesting. So... Haha! <laughs> yeah, that- that would happen, wouldn't it? Let's try it on that instead. There we go! Oh, hey, look at that! Perfect. Uh... Oh. I was supposed to- <laughs> Okay, I'm supposed to have red there. There we go. Let's try this again. And... Launch! There we go. Perfect. It's amazing how well they got the physics to, like, it almost always, in all the previous chambers and this one, it almost always lands, like, on the center. I wonder how they pulled that off. The first game also had surprisingly cons uh, consistent physics, despite it being physics. Except for the magnets. The magnets had absolutely terribly inconsistent physics and I hated it. Hopefully there's no magnets in this version. Can we just do this, or... No. Blue? Yeah, blue. Okay. Alright. I'm not sure what the point of that was, but sure. Middle mouse button to delete cube. Why would I want to delete cube? That's a system message, okay. Why would I want to delete cube? Is that... Is that how reflections work? I'm not convinced that's how reflections work, but sure, we'll go with it for now. Huh. Also, isn't there supposed to be music? It's oddly quiet right now, and it feels really unnerving. Was there music before? I don't remember. Hmm. I can't go through this, right? Yeah. I can stand on the edge, though. That's, uh, that's probably not right. <laughs> hmm. Well. This seems like a pretty standard, uh, maneuver here. So can I delete the cube from anywhere? Oh, it's green, so left... Wait, what? Left? Oh wait, has it always been green? I thought it was a different color before. Oh, it's whatever color I have selected. Okay, that makes sense. Gotcha. So. I wouldn't want to move it on this side. Oh, oh, I didn't even see that up there. Well, that answers my question. There we go. And then... I guess I placed the red somewhere else, right? Well, that works too. Yep. <laughs> I can also just delete the red. Sure thing. What do we have going on here? Well, let's try the obvious approach first. Gotcha. Whee! Oh. Oh! I forgot about that animation. Wonder what triggers that? Is that just whenever I land on something that's not a... a nice landing pad? Probably. Right. We're up here, and we want to move this over there to catch us. And do that. Sure thing. Uh, let's 
excuse me, thank you. Excellent. And now I can get over here. Any secrets? Don't particularly don't particularly see any. What is this hose thing? Oh, it goes to the light. Okay. Interesting. Why though? Huh. Not much to do here, as far as I can tell. Is this a door? I guess it looks like it. Whoa, what is going on with my vision? Huh? Is there something up here? Oh, it is something up here. What in the world? The graphical effects are very strange in here. This is doing all sorts of weird things to the vision. It's got a very, very strange style to it. Probably not good for video compression. What is, uh, what is going on here? This is a very alarming statue that I'm looking at. Left mouse button to inter- what? Interact? Please! Take me. Take me! My heart beats. But I want it to beat. For you. I want to become, become one. She said we would become one. Don't leave me on my own. Not without her. Emma. What? What is it? I- I think it's human, or- or was. Now I don't know what it is. A statue. And it what? was saying something. The no, subtitles didn't match. A radio transmission of sorts. I don't know, this is messed up. Millie, whatever it was, it just means we need to find the location of that signal as soon as possible. Okay? Then we can find a place to rendezvous. Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry, it just... I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just keep going, okay? The signal compression is either suspiciously bad, or that person is a robot or AI or something that we're talking to. But, uh, yeah, that was interesting. The subtitles didn't match there. <laughs> That's not something you expect to see in a fully released game. Especially this early in the game. Oh, normally a load screen trigger sooner than that. I was wondering what was gonna happen. But yeah, that's- that's a bit... a bit alarming, I'd have, I must say. Alright, we're here. What chapter is this? If it even is a chapter. Am I limping? My head has a head bob suddenly. Did we have a head bob before? I don't remember having a head bob before. Oh my. That's quite a drop. But I don't suppose we have any alternatives, now do we? I can't actually look all the way down. I cannot look straight down at all. It's literally not possible to look straight down or straight up. I hate games that do that. I don't know what the deal with that is. I can look straight down and straight up in real life. Why can't I look straight up and straight down in a game? Ooh. Emma, I've emerged into a large chamber. Can you tell me how far I am from the beacon? Your altitude shows that you're about halfway there. There's a strange machine in here. I'm going to investigate it, see if it can help me find my way around this place. Why would it help you find your way around this place? Why would you make that assumption? Do you know something I don't? Hmm. I can't decipher this, Emma. The language is like nothing I've ever seen. There are some things I can make out in illustration. Like, it seems to be a physical transportation machine. An elevator or monorail that ascends. It's hard to understand. It's connected to the three doorways by these large cables. I wonder if it's something that can be powered, taking us towards the beacon. I'm not sure how you got all that from that picture, because it just looks like a button. I... I have no idea. But whatever it was, it seems to have turned this machine on, and... It's opened what was one what? of the doors. What are you going to do? I'm going to follow this cable and find out what this machine does. Be Did careful, I? Millie. Did I miss something? I didn't hear anything. What are they reacting to? Like, the screen changed and, and they were like, what was that? I don't know. I'm like, what? Was something going on that I didn't notice? Because that was strange. Alright, well that door is red. That door is red. That door is not red. 
and the cable going to it is blue. Why can't I- oh, okay. It's a very small cable compared to the others, I must say. What a sight. That's where we- no, that's where we dropped from. That's just another beautiful area. Alright, onward we go. Okay, another load screen, I guess. Didn't we just come from a load screen? Maybe it's not going to be a load screen, maybe we're just gonna descend into a puzzle. I hope. Oh, it is another load screen! <laughs> what was the point of that, then? Alright, sure. It's not like the load times are particularly long, but still. Tangled! The walls are blue. Ooh, it's because the cable is blue? They look... they look very... creamy, or something. They have a very nice look to them, but look at this. We can clearly see reflections in the wall. Why can't I see my own reflection? Huh. Emma, can you read me? I can. The signals are a lot better now. Good. I found what these cables are connected to. It looks like a power reactor. Do you think you can power it? Is it safe? I don't know if it's safe for sure, but it certainly does something. There are four doorways connected to it via cables. One of them seems accessible. The door behind me is also locked, so it doesn't seem like I have much choice. Okay. Follow the cable through the open door, and see if there's a power source connected to it, or a way to open these other rooms. Got it. What's going on here? Is this like an open world game, all of a sudden? No, we just have to do things in a particular order, I guess? Come on, let me jump over the cable, please. Alright, so these doors are all closed except for that one. Interesting. Not sure how you got that it was a power reactor, but, I mean, I guess you could interpret it as that. Maybe- maybe she's actually remembering some of her training... or something. I thought she had amnesia, but she knows what a power reactor is. Oh wait, is this another load screen? If this is another load screen... This better not be another load screen. Oh good, it's not another load screen! Excellent. Wonderful. I mean, it might as well have been, though. Not sure why we had to go down that elevator for that. Look at that! Clouds! I thought we were in the desert. Why would there be clouds in the desert? I don't actually know if there should be clouds in the Looks desert or not. like these cables lead through to more rooms. I'm gonna follow them. See if they connect to anything that can help power that central machine. Good idea. Let me know if you find anything useful. Ooh, pressure plate. Nice. That's gonna be interesting. There weren't any pressure plates as far as I could remember in Cube 1. Well, actually, I guess there kinda were. Yeah, there kinda were. Kind of. But not like this. <laughs> we can- we can literally walk on the cable. I don't- I don't think that's supposed to work that way. Look at how sheer that- look how sheer that slope is. That is a sheer slope, and I can just walk right up it. Like- like it's nothing. There is nothing there. <laughs> oh man, can I do the same on this side? No. Okay, this- it's just bizarre though. Right, what needs to happen here? More blue blocks. I thought it was gonna be like, firing a cube... ...over the top of this to land on here. Maybe I just need to stand on it? That kinda works. Is there a way I can drop a cube on here, though? It doesn't exactly look like it. Oh no, it stays! What? Is it because the color is different? Do yellow pressure plates not stay, and blue pressure plates do stay? I'm gonna go with that for now. I have no idea. Yep, just walking up cables like it's nothing. Isn't there supposed to be music? 
It's very weird to just be playing an atmospheric puzzle game like this, with no music. Dirt. Is this dirt? What? What is this texture? Hold on a sec. Are you kidding me? Texture quality is ultra! What the heck is this texture? Okay, okay. Maybe this isn't quite the ultra quality that I thought it was, but, uh, still. Neat. And this one goes to the other thing? Indeed it does. Right. Why, though? Was I stuck on this- I can't walk over this cable, but I can walk up the cable like it's nobody's business? Look, I can just walk up it. Why can't I walk over this without having to jump? Okay, that's not quite what I expected. Doesn't it normally fall off? Is the angle just right? The angle might be just right for the cube to stay on. Huh. Right, well. Maybe we should start by doing something with this. Like, putting- putting the cube on this sounds like a good idea, right? Yeah, there we go. That works. And then... I really just did that, didn't I? I really just did that, didn't I? Right, let's try this again, and maybe this time I won't get so impatient. There we go. Anything of interest up here? Doesn't seem like it. So the point of this area was just to... ...show that these buttons could be connect to moving things? I'm a bit miffed about the pacing of this. Like, it seems like it's going really slow. And I think the main contributing factor is the walk speed. It's not helped by the walk speed, honestly. This kinda looks like glitch base, doesn't it? It's very reminiscent of it. I there we go. It turns my camera view around automatically, which is a little bit jarring. But it's better than- it's better than Red Trigger, anyway. That's kinda funny, I never thought about the similari similarities between Red Trigger and Cube. Huh. Well, anyway... We know how to solve this. Secrets? Not particularly, just a bunch of dirt. What is this? This looks like... chocolate cake. This has to be, like, brownie mix or chocolate cake mix or something. Cause this is not dirt. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Hey look, there's that wispy cloud in the desert that shouldn't exist. Huh. Oh, hello. Yep, that's what that does. I don't imagine we can just easily get a cube on it, right? Yep. Thought so. And that overshoots by quite a bit. What happens if it hits me on the head? Oh, that's interesting. And that just went right through me. Okay. So I literally cannot participate in the physics of the cube. It's gonna land up in the same spot every single time. Good to note. Can't walk up that cable. What's that sound? You guys heard that, right? What is that? Is that just, like, the facility? 
Is GLaDOS turning everything back on? Is that Doug Ratman? I don't know what that is. But anyway... Nope, oh, wrong color. That color, please. And that color. There we go. So now we can get over here, and this is permanent, right? Yeah, that's permanent. And what did that actually do for us? The other set of stairs. Okay. I just need to do this. Probably. Probably, in fact, that's exactly what I needed to do. Yeah, there you go. Why didn't I do that first of all? Right, onward to the next. I've spent most of my time just looking at the cool visuals without actually thinking about the puzzle. So if it takes me a while to solve the puzzle, it's not because I'm stuck, it's because I'm looking at how amazing this game looks. Look at that. I just love this art style. Much better than Cube 1. Miles better than Cube 1. Look at this. Except for this. This is, uh, this is a lot worse than Cube 1. Look at this. I will admit it's very dark, and the darkness makes the video compression difficult. I've not seen this technology before. I wonder what it does. <laughs> it's a fan! What do you think it does? You've not seen fans before? I did read about that in the review, but... <laughs> Maybe she meant, I haven't seen this... ...in here, in this area, in this place that I am in, yet. But it's very clearly a fan. Like, what else do you think it could do? Have you not seen fans before? Have, has your amnesia wiped out your memory of fans? Maybe you think fans are people who really like you, I don't know. Alright, that works exactly like I thought it would. It's kinda like... You know what that is? That's kinda like the bounce shell in Portal 2. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Well, I think we see where this is going. We Fancy that. What do we have up here? I guess this is just for us to stand on, right? Yeah. And those fans will push us off, unless we can find a way to turn them off or get around them or something? Oh, we can just hold ourselves on. That shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, middle click actually gets rid of the block as well. Interesting. But left click does that too. Huh. Bye bye, cube. Wait, what? No, what? No! That's not how it's supposed to go. Come on, let's try this again, please. Protect me, cube. Okay, it's wor- it seems to be working this time, but I'm jittering a little bit. I'm definitely jittering. Okay, that works. That works. Right, we didn't need the cube, I just wanted to have the cube with us for fun. Another one of these weird pointless spots. Can't we just, like, climb out? I guess we have to proceed to our objective, but what the heck? That looks very bright, that- it, the reflection co- what? Uh... Oh... Oh no... I see... 
if it's not... So whatever gets chopped off of the top of the screen also gets chopped off in the reflection? Why would you do it that way? Look, there's no reflection now just because I can't see it. We're in the Matrix. We're, we are in the Matrix. Yeah, <laughs> why- why would you implement it that way? It's like the most- that's so weird! Oh wait, that's actually stuff. I thought that was a door. <laughs> actually, no, let's do it there. Wait, why am I even- yeah, well, let's just do it there. Much better. Yeah. We need the other- other panels. Not sure what that was about, but sure. Maybe I broke it, who knows. As I said, I'm too distracted by how the game looks to solve the puzzles. Hmm. I, I'm gonna take a guess. And say that we need to do this, which is the exact same puzzle we had earlier. Okay. There we go, that works. Oh, I'm supposed to actually be on it, huh? Fine, fine. Fine, fine. And... Right-click. Close enough. Oh, now there's music! Why, hello there. That turns on the fan. Let's do that, and that. Hey, perfect! Huh. Do I just need to rush through there? Or... Oh yeah, that works. Goodbye, cube! What are these? Oh, it's just landing mats, okay. Guess we're not getting up there then. Uh, excuse me, I would like to walk on this cable, please. What?! I can walk on the other cables, but not this one?! Also, what's this little piece down here? Uh, I think that might be a hole in the geometry? What is that? Is that supposed to be there, or is that a hole in the geometry? Cause it's, uh, it's very much looking to me like a hole in the geometry there. Now I can walk on the cable. Alright, what does this machine do? Emma, that cable is connected to a terminal. It seems to have sent some form of energy back to that reactor and unlocked the other doors in this room. I'm going to check it out and follow the other cables attached to the reactor. Let's see what's behind these doors. Maybe you're onto something here, Winnie. Report on any changes. Right, well, we're back to this room again. Gotcha. Lots of fans, huh? Yep, yep, they definitely seem to be working. What do we have going on here, huh? Hold this then. Okay, that's not gonna work anytime soon. But this can move, right? Yeah, that moves. <laughs> it's like Quantum Conundrum. Alright, but, uh, did I want to do that, or...? <laughs> huh. Uh, that cube is overlapping that cable. 
I hope you know that. Wait, no, not like that. Uh... First of all, what does this do? Oh hey, perfect. Oh. So I do this. What is this one for, though? Huh. And then... Yeah, what is this one for? Huh. Oh. Wait, how am I supposed to make that happen? Okay, I see. I see! Oops, I need to stand off of this now. Right. Come on. Get back into place. I still don't know what that position is for, though. So first we do it with the cube. Not sure what that backplate is for. Ah. Uh, there we go. There we go! Oops, come on. Alright, still not sure what this backplate is for. Maybe it blocks the fans? I don't know. I have no idea what the backplate is for. What was the pack plate for? I solved the puzzle without using it. Did I break it? How though? I I I'm so confused about what the back plate was for. Maybe we're not done with it? I mean it certainly seems like we're done with it. Man, you have to be real close for the interact to work. Hmm. Any secrets up here? Not particularly. How did the dirt... How did the dirt... make that steep of a slope? I don't think that's how... I don't think that's how dirt works. I'm pretty sure the slope would be a lot less steep than that. Huh. Weird game, man. Weird game. I can't jump over to the other side of this. What was that backplate for? That doesn't do anything. Right, well, I guess I broke this puzzle. Let's get out of here. That was a much shorter- we just went in and came back out, whereas the other one we had to loop around. Not sure why they were so different. Do we go up here yet? Yes. And then... oh, we can go to either one. Ooh. Let's go to this one first. That's not the one I came from, right? Is this the one I did already? I think it might be. Come on. If it is, why would I be able to go to it again? No, this is not the one I came from. I think- I think I did- yeah, that's the one I did first. That's the one I did first. I guess I can do these in any order, perhaps? Sure, why not? Okay. Uh, excuse me. Right. Hmm. I think- I think we should solve this one next episode, so... As always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!